Well, let's speak to the man himself, shall we? I'm pleased to say George Galloway, the founder of All for Unity, joins us online this evening. Good evening to you, Mr Galloway. Good evening. Uh, if, as a voter, uh, you're in favour of the union, whether your politics come from the left or the right or the centre, there's already a party representing you, isn't there? What's the point of your party? Well, they're not doing very well, these other parties, as current polling shows. But as 14 years of failure shows, the reality is that there are many Conservatives who will never vote Labour, many Labour people who will never vote Conservative. So we've got a coalition, an alliance, of people of the left, right and centre, highly successful people from all the professions. And we think that if people vote very tactically and smartly in the constituencies and vote for us on the peach-coloured ballot paper, we can improve the uh, quantity but also the quality of the pro-British forces in the Scottish Parliament. But, but the problem is, is it not, that a lot of these parties, the Tories, the Labour Party and the Lib Dems, get a lot of their seats from that peach-coloured ballot paper. They're scratching around for the same, the same votes. Now you're coming in and splitting that three-way share four ways. You, you can only do harm to their cause, can't you? Well, the most uh, divisive thing in Scottish politics is third and fourth place candidates standing in elections when the second and best place candidate would otherwise win. Anas Sarwar, for example, would win against Nicola Sturgeon if the Tories and the Liberal Democrats weren't standing against him. Ditto in Edinburgh, Angus Robertson would never be elected in Edinburgh Central if Labour and the Liberal Democrats didn't stand against him. So it's all about voting smart, standing candidates yeah. smartly. Vo and that's the big idea that we've brought to the political table. Vo voting smart in, in, a, in a political system, in an electoral system that you say in your own manifesto today is not fit for purpose. You're trying to, to manipulate that, aren't you? But, but that's not the political system we're in, really, is it? I saw one piece of analysis today that ha uh, published by, by a, a political strategist company that says, unless you get more than 30% of all of the list votes, you're going to be a drain on the unionist cause that you're purporting to be, to be fighting for. Well, I I'm afraid that's just bad mathematics. And the analyst in question is a Conservative Party analyst. You might have mentioned that. The reality is that parties that have failed to stop or even stand up properly to the SNP over the last 14 years are uh, crying out because the new kids on the block are actually attracting a good deal of support. In the Sunday Times, just three days ago, we were already on 4% and winning one seat. If we get 1% more than that, we'll win several seats. 2% more than that, we might hold the balance of power at Holyrood. Wouldn't that be something? This is all about you, isn't it, Mr Galloway, keeping yourself well, in the spotlight? Uh, yeah. Why is it, or how is it all about me? What's that mean? Do you put that question to Nicola Sturgeon or Willie Rennie? No, I mean, they, 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 they've been around question? a while, and so have their parties. We, listen, we've got candidates, former procurators, fiscal, former judges, GPs, farmers, military men, all right. regimental sergeant majors. Are they all standing for me? Yeah, but, well, here's the thing, right? This is why we don't put this question to Willie Rennie and Nicola Sturgeon. It's because you have been on a fairly peculiar political journey com com compared to them, haven't you? Not so long ago, you said you despised Tories with every beat of your heart, that somebody should shoot you if you were standing shoulder to shoulder with a Tory. And yet here you are, literally standing alongside a Conservative, an old Etonian, an ex-army major under a red, white and blue banner. People are entitled to ask, are they not? Who are you, George Galloway? My goodness, you're strangely animated for BBC Scotland. Are you allowed to lose your rag like that? I'm not losing my rag. I'm putting a perfectly civil question to you. I think everyone watching it already question, knows that the animus is snorting out of your ears. There's <laughs> nothing snorting out of my ears. I can assure uh, you there's well, an earpiece keeping it in place. Can you just answer the question? You, I certainly heard you, and so did everyone else. <laughs> I don't know what serves the Scottish people worst. The politicians at Holyrood or the media that they've got in their pockets. Well, listen, 
I asked you a pretty straightforward question. Are people entitled to wonder question. who you... It was a tirade. No, it wasn't. It was well, let me, let me cut to the chase of that question. You would have called it a run. Let, let me cut to the chase of that question. Are people entitled, given the journey you've been on, the fact that you've said you hate the people that you now stand beside, you've to wonder who you, you really are? Why are you wasting the precious moments... Because you haven't have answered my question. Yourself. Because you haven't answered my question. You're not Jeremy Paxman, trust me okay. on that. Well, do you want Repeating to answer the question? Just makes you look even more strangely animated. Do you think I, people are entitled to I question believe, your motives? I, uh, I believe in Britain and the unity of Britain. You who get your wages from Britain are doing daily everything you can to destroy Britain. And everyone watching this already knows it. But here's the thing. You think there should be another referendum, don't you? You said that no, in the past. You said it'd be a, demo no, a democratic no, no, monstrosity, I, I, you said, I in 2017. No, I don't. We believe that there should be another referendum in a generation, which is between 20 and 30 years. So what's changed but, since 2017 but, but, when you said it would be a but, democratic but, monstrosity listen, to deny the parliament but, another referendum? Uh, listen, Alliance for Unity was formed two months ago. Its policy is this, that we should have a referendum again if half the people of Scotland vote for separatist parties, and it should be a generation from the last one, and it should be subject to a clarity act, just like they have in Canada, so that everybody knows the onerous obstacles that necessarily must attach to breaking up a country. That's our policy. That's what we're standing on. It has a lot of supporters, even if they don't often get a hearing on the BBC. In a sentence, Mr Galloway, do you think Scottish politics needs you? Well, that's a matter for the electorate. I, I believe that there are few proper parliamentarians at Holyrood. I think most of them are somewhat bland, as you've already acknowledged. I'm very far from bland. Yes, that's certainly been the case over the last three or four minutes. So we thank you very much indeed for your time and your contribution this evening. It was lively indeed. Thank you, George Galloway.